with uh, the Board Game Spotlight Game Night Live. We have a few games from uh, PAX Unplugged. Well, we have one game from PAX Unplugged we're definitely going to stream. That's Boop from Smirk and Laughter. Yeah. Uh, and if we feel good or if the baby's doing okay, then we have um, another game that we'd like to try. Yeah. We've got our little guy with us. We're going to try to stream. <laughs> we're trying our, our best to get back to streaming um, with little ones. People, I know those who have little ones can understand how difficult <laughs> it is to play games uh, with, with kids, oh, right? Maybe, yeah. Um, and we've actually talked about that many times on the channel. We've mm -hmm. been interviewed and done podcasts about that, like how to game with kids, um, because it's hard to find. Just power through. <laughs> Just power through. That's a, probably the best, best way you can do it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to dive into this. If you're over on the Board Game Spotlight Facebook page, hello. We are also streaming to our YouTube page as well. Uh, we're going to boop all these super <laughs> adorable cats. You can also say meow. The rules say you could say meow if you want to. Oh no, Boop's way cuter. Boop is way cuter. I'm going to start from unboxing this because I'm going to show you how awesome the setup is for this game. Okay? All right, we it's don't... It's like a quilt. It's like squishy. And you want that? No. Okay. Look at this. Look at this, the, the skirt. It's so good. Quilt goes on top of the back of the box. You keep the other box out to place uh, kittens that come out of the game because kittens love boxes. You're gonna start with all of your kittens and we're gonna put our cats off to the side. We will use the cats later. So I got a chance to check this out at PAX Unplugged and uh, so this is a game by Scott Brady uh, and Scott has done like Q's and Q's and a few other games and I have to say this was everything I wanted it to be when I first heard about it, right? It's not only adorable, but it's also a thinky tactical game. Mm -hmm. Very much of like, it's like Shogu Tic-Tac-Toe. Oh, you know? Yeah. I mean, would you say that? Yeah. yeah. I think it's pretty sweet. Okay, so, uh, would you like to go first? Sure. Would you like to explain what we're doing? Or are we just gonna dive um, into it? I think probably explaining it is a good idea. <laughs> so we're gonna start with Kitten. Oh, they want us to boop the baby. Boop. We're gonna start with Kittens. Um, and you're going to place them anywhere on the quilt. And then the next person will place a kitten. So if I, if I place this, this here, Derek would come out and place this one here. He's going to boop my kitten and it's going to move one space. So anything in um, any direction would get booped out one adjacent, space. Adjacent. Basically just adjacent yeah. to it, yeah. Um, so you're trying to get your kittens out and you want to get three kittens in a row. Once you get three kittens in a row, you're going to replace those with cats. Um, so kittens can bump other kittens. Kittens cannot bump cats. Cats can bump both cats and kittens. That's right. So essentially you're trying to trade your kittens in for cats and then you're trying to get three cats in a row. First person to three cats. Oh, 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 watch the head. Wins. Watch the head. Careful, Bo. You got it. Yeah. He you was watching himself on TV. <gasps> you're famous. Oh my goodness. He's like, I don't know what's happening. Give the mama. Hi, babies. Oh. All right. So you started. Okay. I did. I am going to place here. Boop. This little kitten right over there. Are we going to boop the entire time? Uh, I mean, it does say in the rule book that you're supposed to say boop you, when... You are also going to boop yourself. Indeed. Um, But if there are two cats, like, back to back, then it doesn't move. Right. I'm going to place here, I think. No booping. Nope, I did not boop that time. So I don't have to say boop. Wait a minute. That's a double boop. It is a double boop. Boop, boop. I'm going to place here booping both of those cats in that direction. Where did you place? Hmm? I placed here. I placed okay. right here, and this boops this way, and that boops wow. that way. Yeah. Everything adjacent, diagonal and orthogonal. Orthogonal? I don't know how you say that. I know. Okay. <laughs> Please boop all the time, they say. Also, we are using Restream to do this video, so if you could give Restream uh, permission to let us know who we're talking with, <laughs> Uh, that would be super yeah, awesome. I will log in though and see. Um, because I don't have it pulled up. I'm gonna put it in the chat here so that you can just even go to, uh, you can go right to that link, and that'll allow you to give it permission. I uh, promise we're not doing anything crazy. Zach Kohler and oh, Bob what's up, Carole. Zach and Bob? Nice. So you placed up there. I did, and I booped myself down. Um. Okay. Gotta think about this. I'm trying to think of like strategies of like placement and like how to mm -hmm. chain react things in the way that I want them. So if I go here, it boops this way and then it boops, boops. Look at all the booping. 
Now, two cats cannot be Get booped. booped in that direction, but they can be moved in other directions. That's true. Hi, bud. Oh, you're happy being here. <laughs> Very happy. He likes cats, apparently. You like kitty so cats? Do this. Cat. Okay, and if you get booped that. off of the bed, it goes right back into your reserve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you did. I'm going to do... Uh... I'm trying to think about this. You see daddy? You thinking harder? Oh, you know what? Right here. If I go here, this cannot boop diagonally. Uh... So that's that's three in a row. That's what you're trying to do. All three of these cats come off, they go into the box, and they graduate into Cats and the Kittens. Let's do this. So now it's back to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the baby's trying to pet the cats, nice. That was a good boop, you're right. <laughs> oh, he's gonna sneak. <laughs> Oh, babies are so fun. You never know what's going to happen. You're just keeping us all on our toes. True. Okay, there you go. Uh, Alright, so cats boop kittens, but cats can only be booped by other cats. And you're trying to get three cats in a row to win. So I'm going to place here, booping here, and then booping off. Boop, boop, boop. You beat me at this and earlier. Oh, and oh wow, look at all that booping. Cleared the board. That was so rude. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, you're not wrong. <laughs> he says, How dare you do that to mother? I know. You can put the sensory video on for him if you want. All right. Uh, so if I do a cat. Matt Warmbier says Lizzie will win holding a baby. It's just how it works. I mean, it's just the way things work. Oh, Kira's um, here. Hi, Kira. Hi, Kira. So, oh man, I have to think about this. Like, it's so crazy, like, because you have to think all adjacent. So diagonal and orthogonal. So it really changes things because you could have unintended consequences yeah. of placing. <laughs> and you mm -hmm. might be like, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Okay. So if I go here, that boops out there. Yep. And then that one boops off. Yep. Um, I'm gonna boop here, mm -hmm. pushing this up and this down. Boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna boop here. So this comes off, oh, three in a row. Oh, there you go. All right, these go back to the box. Yep. All right, well played. Uh, I am also getting three in a row because you cannot boop in a line. So that's gonna give me oh, no. three more cats. And I think you're always supposed to have eight pieces. So I'm not quite sure what happens in this regard. Like, do I just get all my cats? Cause in the rule book, I think it says you're supposed to always have eight pieces, but I'm not quite sure. Well, like, one, two, three, four, five, I only six, have six. Seven, eight, dork. Oh, dork. Yeah, there's two out there on the board. My bad. All right, the cat army is coming. <laughs> yeah, you could do, oh, there you go. You can get a little bit of um, some techno music, like cats and boop and cats. How are you supposed boop. to get the last two? I can't. Hmm. I can just use them to bounce your kittens around. Hmm. Okay. Uh, top right should be off the bed. Okay, got it. Oh. There we go. I must have missed that. Booped. Rude. There's so much booping. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, there is multi booping. You can multi. Well, like you can't create like chains of like like a cat creating another boop. It's only on placement. But like you can get some crazy boops happening. I'm gonna boop you that direction. Do you want to look at the kid? You want to look at him? <laughs> Not going to need him. You booped me over there? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So if I, I have to be careful because now we're in, now we're in the end game. Now, now this is for real life. 
So I'm going to go here, booping, booping. I love how, like, cutthroat this game can get, but mm -hmm. also you can keep it. Because you played with Seb a couple times today, didn't you? I did play with Seb. So he did well. Yeah, it's really great. Um, oh, you can get a mixed set. You can move the cast to the pool and upgrade kittens. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably in the rule book that I overlooked. <laughs> I'm not going to need it, though. I'm going to win with these cats. Um, although you could upgrade those. That's dangerous. So let's go here. Oh, that's not, wait, yeah, ooh, nope, don't want to do that, because then you'd be able to upgrade that cat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this game is, is so good. Um, this is going to go in my... I love abstract games and it's two player. It's so much fun and it's so easy to play with so many different people. And the aesthetic is so, I mean, we can get into a review later if you want, but I just like to talk through it because like you showed your brother and our sister-in-law because yes. they, they love, love cats. They have three cats. They love cats. So I was like, they're going to need this. So I showed it to them and they're like, how does it play? And I told them they're like, <laughs> I love it immediately. Yes. Um, And you can get it on Barnes and Noble, but they are pretty much out of stock worldwide. They sold everything at PAX Unplugged on Sunday or Saturday. I can't remember which. And Kirk was saying that, oh, shoot, you've got three in a row right here. You got to look diagonal. <laughs> well, these all come off, though. Yeah. And you can upgrade the cat or the kitten into a cat. Yeah. Um, um, that's bad for you, though, because. Boop. But you do get a placement. It's still your turn. Yeah, they, they, this sold so quick at PAX Unplugged. It was incredible. People people were loving it. And I can see why, mm -hmm. you know? It's it's just one of those games you can pick up and play so easily. Like, you can teach kids. It's got the perfect theme. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the theme really makes it. This is, like, Shobu for people who want a theme. Like, Shobu's great, but it's just very simple, which I love her. And um, I can't think of the name. Boop, boop. What's the word? Abstract. Abstract. Sorry, mom brain. It's great for an abstract because it is like a very abstract game just looking at it. But for people who don't like the simple bare like bones, just moving this is around like, rocks. This is like, <laughs> oh, you can boop cats off a of bit. I'm totally yeah. in. <laughs> yes, please. There's so many cats. When did this happen? <laughs> oh, my cat army. But here's the thing with cats though like, they're stuck there mm -hmm. unless they get booped off or because kittens can't affect them. Mm -hmm. So I'm either have to boot myself off the bed to get them back, because uh, I only have one. I only have one cat left, so I have to be very careful about this. <laughs> I think I set myself up for a pretty good play. We're gonna see how this goes. Thank you for coming by and and uh, and watching. I think that uh, this is gonna be a game that a lot of people are gonna enjoy. I already love it, and I've played it like handful of times now yeah i think i'm done did i get did i put it in a situation where i, I can win regardless yeah well hold on are you sure yeah i'm pretty sure oh yeah because if you place here and push me there you, you push that here. one there and i can go there no because that would push that one off what if you go here, it's going to push oh, it off. Oh, shoot. There we go. Shoot. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. <laughs> this is why I never win games. This is why... No, I'm laughing at Brett. Oh, my gosh. Is that Brett? Yeah. That would be Brett. I don't have a beard like yours, though, bud. He had to shave it this morning. I just shaved this morning so fast because I forgot about a meeting. Yeah, you can have that back because you might actually get it. Oh, yeah. Did you boop? No, that one, you didn't earn him yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ransom was looking at him. Mm-hmm. I don't now know he's what looking to do. at avocados. Avocado, thanks. Oh, thanks. Okay. No, okay. Got it. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Hang on. Boop. What, 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 what? Hang on, what? I. This one should have also booped. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. I'm going to place here and boop, boop, boop. That's Lots it. of booping. This is like a tango, <laughs> a dance. You have more cats than Ooh. I do, though. So 
But if I go here, three in a row. So you can upgrade that kitten into your, is that I your last? Upgrade life? two, right? How many kittens were there? Two kittens. Oh yeah, yeah. So two kittens into two cats. Oh buddy. All right, how can I win this? Can I win this? I don't know. I can. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Meow. Boop, boop. Three. Uh... The winner! <laughs> I love, like, okay, so you could get some serious AP, though. If you didn't, though, I was going to, I had two moves if you didn't mess with it, but. Um, there, you could get some serious AP, yeah. but the game is so fast, you could still AP and play in, like, 25 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. And this quilt is, like, you can see it. You can see, yeah, you can the, see the indentation. It's, squishy. it's It's, like, cotton batting in there and something. It's, it, the, the entire game, production, mm -hmm. gameplay, theme, is a hundred percent just so good. Having you wanna, it be do an you want to run it back again real quick? Instead of a neoprene mat, just makes it like. Do you want to run it back? Better. What do you mean run it back? Like play it again. Why don't you just say play it again? Do you want to play it again? Sure. Here. You're gonna have to all my pieces. Did I boop everything off? Just one. I couldn't reach that one. All right. You you can start first, or would you like me to start first? I'm actually not sure who gets an advantage starting first in this game. You go first. I went first last time. Okay. Let's do it. Meow. Boop. <laughs> oh, so good. People are gonna, people are really, whoa, what happened? I booped. Boop. You're up. Yeah, if you get your hands on this game, I know it'll be back widely available mm -hmm. next spring, like once the reprint is here. Um, oh, Bob, is that's totally Bob, right? Do you not say run it I back? I do not Lizzie? say run it back, obviously. <laughs> then I confused, like, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think there is a first player advantage. I think you're right. Um, I was just curious. Well, because, like, first player to place can get booped first mm -hmm. at a position they may not want to be into, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's really a big deal. Um, what is happening? What is... This, this is why. Just got a, a line cat. of cats. Um, I don't even know what to do with this mess. It's good. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't like any of this. I don't like it. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I don't think you could play this game and not say boop or something similar, right? Like it's just super cute. Um, rude, <laughs> but that's okay because boop can't boop three cats. That's okay. Oh, Can't you boop. got him too. <laughs> nice try. Thinking oh. you're so slick. Okay. <laughs> I didn't like it. Got my cats. No boops. No boops given. <laughs> no. You didn't boop. That's boop. a party foul. Boop, boop. That's right, Ransom. You tell her. You tell Mama. Boop. Yeah, the quilt is so great for being like a tactile experience. It mm -hmm. just is so, so fun. Brett wants to be best friends with Ransom. I should bring, I should probably bring up the Facebook chat so I can see what's happening. Yeah, it's more fun this way. <laughs> it's fun. I'm just like guessing. It says Facebook user said. <laughs> so I'm over here like, okay, uh, Bob definitely said run it back. Uh, Brett definitely is hitting on me in the comments, but that's <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> You're okay with him hitting on you. It's cool. Oh, uh, I love it. Okay, what what shenanigans are happening here? You put a cat out? Yeah. I put a kitten out. Cat. Oh, I did put a cat out. Boop. Okay, I'm going to do this. You can totally you be best this. friends with Ransom. Three in a row. Sure. Look how cute that little baby is. Oh, sorry. No, the other three in a row. The other three in a row. Um... Huh. 
trying to figure out. You can put yourself in some really interesting uh, placement puzzles here. <laughs> you tell your baby. Go there. That was a big yawn. I thought you were going to go to sleep, but then you woke up. He just you're... woke up. What are you talking about? Go to sleep. <laughs> He's like, I can't miss this party. Uh, okay, so if I place here, there's no boops. So that's going to be three cats and three kittens. Let's go. Go ahead. Absolutely not. No! No! You tic-tac-toed me! <laughs> you got me! I did. With the X's and O's. Oh my goodness, that was so fast. I was not paying attention. See, that's what happens when I'm checking the chat and uh, not paying attention to what's going on. I'm watching these dancing uh, plums on the... Those are definitely blueberries. Oh, dancing blueberries on our other screen. Do you not know what fruit looks like? A boopless turn. Wow. Do I not know what fruit... Well, they looked purple. That's why I said plums. So but they plums. have a little crown at the top. That's a, a blueberry. That's a blueberry plums blueberry have like the little like, line. Uh, They're oh, more... Okay. I gotcha. Do you know what those are? Uh, oranges? Oranges. Nice. Nailed it. Ransom is watching, uh... Baby sensory, baby sensory videos, videos, and it's dancing fruit. Dancing fruit. And he really likes it, as you can see. He's, uh, Very he's cute. into it. Alright. Should, do we need to break the tie? It's one-to-one. -one? We need to break the tie with a different right. game. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. Okay. We're gonna break the tie oh, with a... Hold on. With all hold on. <laughs> you just threw all the cats. They all did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to break the tie with another game that I picked up at PAX Unplugged. And this was in the SN uh, Imports. It was part of the SN Imports from Zulu Board Game Cafe. And this game came from Japan or Asia. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure it's Japan. We're going to play Veggie Stock. It says vegetable stock. Whatever. Vegetable stock, veggie oh. stock. I've heard it both ways. Thank yeah, you, Bob totally got it right. Happy holidays to you as well. Random Facebook user who I'm sure. It, just, it comes up as Facebook user, so I can't see names. Who is Robert? Oh, Robert. Thanks, Bash. Robert. H? B A C H E? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Okay, vegetable stock is a economic... It's veggie uh, stock market. Yeah, it's I mean, veggie it's stock literally market. literally the name. 100% is what it is. It's just a vegetable stock market. And it is really fun. And pretty quick. And no, you very... don't play with eggplants. Oh, two player. thank you. Yes, no eggplants in two-player. So we're taking out the eggplants, not uh, because they're suggestive, but uh, because you remove a, a vegetable from the game. It's a two-player game. First okay. Game. All right. So we're gonna do this. Let me set these up. So we've got the tomatoes. Bob says they only had 10 copies and you guys took half of them. We did, there were 10 copies and 33% of them ended up Bob, me and I sick. 33.33. <laughs> Repeating, Repeating, of course. course. Exactly. All right, uh, seriously though, this game is so good. It's so much fun, it's quick. And we played it with a full, I think it what, plays up to Five players, six players. Yeah, that's another thing. It plays up to six players. It's a really good, like, you know, restaurant, bar game, whatever, because it takes up not very much space, but getting six people around a table, it's pretty good. Maybe even an airport game. Uh oh, easily an airport game for sure. Um even an airplane game. I mean, you could just be like, hey, you know, you want to play over there and we'll just pass things around. <laughs> Well, have fun with D&D. &D. Thanks so much uh, for popping in and saying hi. Really appreciate it. That was Brett. Love you, Brett. Robert said he wished he could have made it to PAX, but he got sick and he couldn't come. Oh, bummer. There were quite a few people that ended up not coming because of sickness yeah. or just other things happening. All right, so here we go. So we are going to take this deck of cards. Mm -hmm. And um, I like how Boop is just kind of like hanging out there. I'm actually going to get rid of... I'm going to hide that image because we're not playing spark and laughter anymore uh i'm gonna flip three of these cards out hey and we got a typhoon that early okay so this is an action card that just says this round you cannot bust. uh bust a market but won't there's crash really no way something can bust so anyway. lizzie you're gonna take a card mm -hmm. and then i take a card and what's left over oh. is what rises on the market when a card reaches the fifth level 
it crashes all when he goes above five, like when he goes, you know, up to the top, it crashes all the way back down to zero. Hey, Josh. Hey, what's up, Josh? <laughs> yeah, of course he would definitely say hi to you and then me. I like it. Which would you like? You want the triple tomatoes? Tomatoes? No. I'll take. Well, I am also going to take that and I'm going to raise tomatoes up to three. Whoa. And we'll just place this. Um, On top of the typhoon? Yeah, we'll just go like that way so we can see what where what things should be. Raised? Right. And now I get to go first. Oh, oh the sun. That so the sun. Yeah. So two cards are going to end up affecting the market oh, no. at the end of this round. Ooh, I like this. So I'm going to grab some tomatoes. If you can see my put my cards off to the side here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to raise broccoli by two. And this goes six rounds, so it's pretty quick. Yes, it is a fast game. Uh, corn goes up once. Uh, carrots go up twice. And tomatoes go up again. So tomatoes currently are the closest thing to bursting. What are you doing down and here? And you get to go first. Baby's having a party over there. No. It's like, this is such an elegant, simple game um, that like, I, I just think to myself, like, how has something like, like this not been done before? It's just, it's so fun. Okay, I don't want tomatoes to bust, so I'm gonna draft that. Broccoli goes up twice to four and carrots go up once to three. Okay, we're halfway through the game. And I mean, there's nothing really stopping you if you wanted to play out the whole deck. You totally yeah, could. You can. You're just gonna see more bursting of the, of the market. Busting? Is it busting, bursting? bursting, busting, I don't know. Crashing. It's probably crashing. Because the market's crashing, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, You get first pick. I know what I'm thinking. Don't do it. <laughs> well, yeah, either way, something's got to give. Yeah, I don't want tomatoes, but carrots now are dangerously close mm -hmm. to busting, and I've got a few of those, and then it's corn! Okay. Two more rounds. My first pick. Oh my. Wow. So do I want corn or do I want broccoli? I think I want broccoli. Broccoli looks like to be a safer market right now. But I like rising corn. Uh, first bust of the game. Stock market crashes on carrots. Goes above five. All the way back to zero. And then back up to one. All right. This is the last round. And did I pick first? Did, or did you move you... the corn up? Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, did I pick first or did you pick first? I can't remember. This last turn. But it was me, you, me, you, me. It's you. Mm -hmm. Dang. So, something's busting. Mm -hmm. Because if this, if the tomatoes are left out, then it busts. Or if broccoli's left out, it busts. You can't afford broccoli to bust, but I can't afford tomatoes to bust. So we're in quite a predicament right now. Man, why couldn't the typhoon come out this round? <laughs> right? This is so rude. Uh, I hear you. Where's the mouse at? I'm trying to find it. I don't know. There it is. What'd you take? Well, look. Um, so you have more broccoli, so letting broccoli bust is in my favor. So it's gonna go once, twice, down to zero. What? And that also hurts me. The corn has to go up. The corn goes have up to five. Have you been doing the second one? I have one? been Are doing you all sure? of them. I have. Because you haven't the last two I times. Have. I have. I know, but I have way more corn. Well, not maybe. You maybe. have more corn than I do, for sure. Okay, so let's add oh, this no, up. Oh no, because you took corn. So tomatoes, I get four per, and that's two, four, six, five, seven. Five. I'm gonna need a calculator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the math's gonna get a little high here. I'm just going to use my calculator. So uh, 4 times 7 is 28. Then my corn, I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 of them for 5, so that's 20 points. Uh, carrots dropped all the way to 1, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. 48 plus 4 is 52. And then nothing for my uh, broccoli. So I have 52 points. What you got? 
I believe I have 36. 36. Yeah, your broccoli's bottomed what out. did you have? I had 52. Yeah, that broccoli being zero was a killer. <laughs> Poor broccoli. Nobody wanted the broccolis. It was no broccoli today. Not yes broccoli. No, it was no broccoli. I love how we fit that in every once We still talk about Yes Broccoli. Yes it's Broccoli on Kickstarter. Uh, all right. Well, I get tiebreaker. So I won tonight's games two to one. <laughs> okay. I really like this one, though. It's fun. It's quick. It's really quick. And um, Seb wants to play this. I yeah. think he can play it because I'm oh, like, I mean, it's just, just grab cards and then, yeah. yeah. And, and then, then we'll then, have him with the math, but well, yeah. he loves math. Oh, yeah. He loves numbers. Well, I'll just be like, you know, watch the numbers and you want to grab oh, things wow. that are that are somewhat higher, but you don't want things to bust. And he's really surprising me with like the things that he's understanding. Like he did really well with Boop earlier. And that was like, and you he didn't play by the kids. contraption. I mean, you didn't, you didn't play with the kids rules on Boop either. Like you not. played Boop. So yeah. that's pretty cool. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to have more videos coming out. I think we're going to do the great split at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to do he probably. He has to teach me all these games. I have to teach Lizzie all these games uh probably splendor duel we've got the new ticket to ride i mean I just want to just throw up videos and throw oh, ticket stuff to ride off. should be pretty easy yeah ticket to ride should be quick i think we've played that before i think so um all right well anyways thank you so much for watching and hang out with us tonight we're gonna go uh go play with this baby and see what ransom wants to do um probably eat. yeah probably thanks again and we will see you on the next stream Bye. thanks everybody say bye ransom